Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meaty69, and I'm back with a quite a long video. It's probably one of my longest videos. Now, I have only just bought this tank today. I've been after it for uh, for a while, but at the start, I wasn't really interested in the PTA or the Leopard 1. Now, recently I've been playing a lot of the PTA, and I'm absolutely loving the PTA. Absolutely loving it. And I'll probably ace it, like, every five, every five, six battles or so. So, I finally get the Leo 1. Now, I didn't think it could actually be much better than the PTA. I was wrong. This tank is probably now my favourite tank. Now, I have four battles I had in this video. I could have had six, seven or eight videos. They're just such such good videos and, and such great battles. Now, as you see, Castilla, we have already got one down. Uh, it was the medium that was with me. And he was killed by the Death Star. So... I wanted to be careful. Um, I am I am hit pull trading with this pattern, but there is no other tanks uh, to go for at the minute. I know there is one other medium tank up on the the castle because he he was there. But I managed to take the the pattern out, and I decide to flank around. I don't want to go for the other medium because. He was pretty much full health, and I'm only on 877 damage. Now, here we are. We spot him. Uh, he is another Le uh, Leo 1, and it's now four tanks against five. So, I managed to take a couple of shots from him before he decides to, to relocate, and he is coming straight for me. So, I'm going to stand my ground, and I'm going to fight. Now, I know I've got to pull something special to to win. I'm now a two-shot, and he is on, well, now 592 XP, uh, HP. So, I'm now a one-shot. I know I'm going to reload before him, so I back up. I, I hit my adrenaline, and just as he shows himself, my reload is done. Now, this tank, like I said, the... the the gun is absolutely amazing. It's 4.6 second reload with adrenaline and 5.5 seconds uh, with without adrenaline. So it's pretty, pretty cool. And with the gun, look, it's 360 or so damage every shot. I have had low rolls where it's only been around 260 to 80, but there we go, the Death Star. He pulls out, we take one shot, and he doesn't get back in time, and we, we manage to take him out. Now, unfortunately, I just missed the waffle. Um, it is now two tanks against two, and we are all pretty much a one shot. So, my object, uh, 140, takes out the waffle, and it leaves just this grill. So, I'm hoping me and the object go together. Because he can't kill us both unless he has a HE shot that bounces off both. But it's very unlikely. But the object decides to, to stick around the, the cap area. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, he's not moving and, he, and he's telling me negative. So luckily the grill now is behind this ridge so he cannot get me. But I do need to poke out quickly, shoot him before he gets me if he would have got me we could have actually lost that battle because by the time the object gets there if he gets there the grill would have reloaded and possibly would have killed him as well but very nice battle 5.3k damage uh, it was a first class uh, it wasn't a mastery unfortunately but nevertheless four kills i made some credits and it was a really really nice battle um there you go, the object 140 didn't do too bad. He done himself 3k damage. And it's just 
a lovely, I've got 3,500 average damage in this. Uh, I've ruined it a little bit. It was 3,700, but I've done a couple of battles where I've been the only medium. The enemy have had no medium, so I've gone the medium way. And I've opened up all the enemy, and I've just got obliviated. But it happens. Can't win them all. Anyway, moving on to the next battle. It is Rockfield, and it is a supremacy battle. So the enemy got three mediums. We've got three mediums. Uh, we do decide to go to C, as majority of battles with mediums we people go to see if you've got a whole team of heavies they tend to go left but the whole team are together which is really good you don't actually see that often and it makes the difference when the team go together unfortunately we do not open up any of the enemy uh, they have all gone the heavy way but we managed to cap C uh, just before they cap A, so we are already now winning on points. So the FV402 is spotted. Unfortunately, I miss. He, I don't know if he started the battle late or he was going to come this way and change his mind because he's all on his own. So already we have the lead in on the cap points and... There's a few of us, there's four, one, two, there's four of us pushing around and three still by cap C, which I'm assuming, I can't really see, but I'm assuming they're looking over, over the hill. So we push up here and we spot the FV4202. Uh, he comes down and he gets shot by quite a few people. So already 600 HP. I managed to take one shot on him, puts him on 300 HP. And our IS-7 takes him out. Now, now there is now uh, Object 140 uh, by B, but he he is hiding, so there's no point in me going for him. And we spot the IS-7 and then the IS-4 and the E-75 to my right. Uh, the E-75 and the IS-4 are not looking at me, so I do poke out just to shoot the back of him. And... There is an IS-7, like I said, to my left. So every time I shoot, I do back up and I do look to my left. So there is a Type 61 also. He does manage to take one shot off me. Then our team IS-7 takes out the enemy IS-7, which then I take out the E-75. So now it, things are looking quite nice. I shoot the Type 61 for one shot and he pokes out for the IS-7 to take him out. Yag Tiger decides to do a little YOLO run. Uh, I'm not sure. He wanted the kill. He didn't care about anyone else around him. And we get behind him. He does shoot the IS-7 one more time. Uh, but he doesn't manage to finish him off. So already 800 cap points we are on. Uh, one tank left with just under 4 minutes to go. So... I am not too bothered. I can circle this IS-4. Uh, I'm not a one-shot. I'm probably a two-shot maybe if he does two high rolls. But he he misses. I don't know what he was doing. but So I've pretty much taken, tear him apart, full health. And the IS-7 comes in to clean him up. So 920 supremacy points. And a nice, nice win. So another nice, nice battle. 5.5k damage. It again made some credits. It was only a first class once again. I did only get one kill. Two of our team do zero damage. So again, that was a nice, nice carry. So moving on to the third battle. Now, this battle at the end, this is a mastery battle. And at the end, once you see the damage, people will be like, well, how was the other two first class? And this, an ace. But overall, this battle was probably better, even though it's less damage, a lot less damage. It was probably better played 
than the other two. So the enemy have got three mediums. We've only got one. Uh, I do decide to push C. And luckily the mediums are not here. There is one E50. Now you'll see in a minute. I'm not sure what that E50. I, th I don't know if he's actually AFK. Because you know, you, you see it when a when a tank's AFK and they just go forward, the, the cannons looking the other way. And, and it's quite funny to see when someone's AFK. Now, I'm sure this is, he is AFK. He's looking behind, he's going back, he's not shooting, and he's just getting tore apart. So, we take him out before, uh, well, before anyone get shot pretty much so we have taken one medium tank out uh, the enemy have caught bases A and B so we spot the ISA fortunately that didn't go in uh, we shoot him again but that one does so nice 350 roll uh, they, the enemy have got no TDs so I'm not too too worried about poking out as much because there's no big big TDs uh, pretty much to, to snipe me but there is a couple of E100 which I am scared of because they can do mega mega damage as you know so we're just sitting here we, well, there's no point moving we, uh, tanks are spotted we know there's an IS-8 pretty much in front and then there's a T54 E1 he just pokes out and unluckily for him he gets annihilated and we leave him on a one shot so we are winning on cut points because we have taken two tanks out uh, that won't be for long I managed to get a nice sneaky track shot into the E100 um, again the ISA comes out I shoot him once and our AMX takes him out now again the E100 is poking out he shoots me and I get shot again so straight away I do one silly mistake and I've lost half of my health but we are now pretty much level on cap points they we need to start doing something because they have only got four tanks left but they have got two caps so again I was shot and uh, didn't do much damage so it it wasn't too much of an issue now this Centurion 7-1 is there and he is looking our way uh, now our IS-8 takes off the T-54E1 so now it's time to move we, we we need to do something they've still got two two caps and if we don't do something they will win so I see this E-100 as a one shot I push forward and I take him out and because I take him out straight away that puts us in the lead but again they have now taken out our E-75 and now again once again they are leading on cap points so we need to rush uh, the E100 I managed to take one shot and I now managed to get behind him take another shot and now FV215B183 takes him out now I don't know what went with that shot stupidly I could have got my third kill I missed and it didn't happen but we win anyway 700 970 cap points against 940 so it wasn't a bad battle uh i did cap c and it was 3.9k damage again we, we do we make some credit two kills and it was an ace it was 1500 xp but i got 2100 assistant damage and i've got 540 cap points which is quite a lot so that is the reason why that was an ace so it's not just about damage people look at damage and think oh my god that's only 3k damage or 4k damage and it's an ace in tier 10 uh, and some people moan that they get 7k damage in tier 10 and only get a first class as you see by my, my previous two battles five and a half k and only first class where it's as I said it's not just about damage now that battle was an all-round battle I spotted I done uh, quite a bit of damage I cap points so overall it was actually a deserved ace now moving on to our last battle it is Copperfield 
and this is probably one of the better battles just the way it's played again it's supremacy uh, we are getting shot there is a mouse uh, there is that VK up there there's a IS4 that does is looking at us and there's a couple of tanks to our left <coughs> sorry so the mouse starts capping uh, he does just manage to get me but I do set him on fire and he now turns so I switch to heat and again I, I don't pen mouse is an OP tank I, I love the mouse it was one of my favorite tier tens before I started playing this uh, our leopard one takes the attention of the mouse so I managed to get a couple of shots into the back of him and now look, he's, he's just turning round uh, that is his back and we managed to take him out for our first kill so the enemy have got two tanks down already we have got one now I don't really move from the spot there is an IS fort uh, and he is quite a good player I believe uh, well I th thought he was quite a good player so we stick here we are capping C uh, no one else is capping with me and no one's well our team now start to cap A but there is a Death Star and there is the VK over there. So I see the IS-4 has just shot. So I poke out, take one shot on, and, and back out. So that's pretty much how I keep playing this game. Now the Death Star up there, I, he, was, he just shot one of our teammates. And I managed to get a nice snapshot. And I managed to take him out. Just to give the E3 up there a little bit of leeway. So it is now four tanks against... Three. So there is a JJGE100 up the top. There is an IS4 here, and there is a VK which is full health also. So we've caught the base. We've got two kills, and the IS4 again has just shot. I poke out, take one shot on him, poke out again, take another shot on him, and then back out because I know he would have reloaded by now. Uh, the Jagdpanzer E100 has now taken one of our teammates out, so three left alive and we're all here and the enemy have actually got more more hit points than us, so we still need to be careful. So I, I make a silly move here, I know the IS-4 is a couple of shots, so I stick around here, he is open and I decide to push him. Uh, it was, I lose a lot of my... my HP doing it but we do manage to take him out now he shoots me once and I can't get my uh, steering right uh, I don't know why I shoot there because I know that wasn't going to pen and he shoots me again so now with two other tanks that are uh, full health I'm now a one shot now I get really really lucky here so again I bounce him and I try and fit through this gap but I don't fit through now luckily he shoots before he's even looking at me so we do manage to take him out so now it's three tanks against two the VK has just fell fallen down uh, to cap B and he takes out our leopard PTA so I now need to rush this Jagdpanzer uh, Jag, yep Jagdpanzer uh, because we, the enemy have got a cap, they're capping another base, and we are double more points than them. So I managed to get round the back of this Jagdpanzer, take him out. Now we both are both are one shot. Well, the, my teammates are two shot. There's no point pushing him. We're winning on caps, uh, cap points. I managed to take one shot off the VK, and I'm a one shot. There's no point brawling when you're a one shot. We're, we're in the lead. It's if I now go and try and take more damage, he's going to kill me, and it could lose the it could lose the battle because all he's got to do is get a high roll, five hundred and one. The VK forty five can do that. It could do five hundred and something damage. So I'm happy just to cap A, and just to see the battle out now. So I, we sit up here, and know exactly where he is. So. It, there's no point rushing in. Like I said, we were on 900 hit points now. I do manage to, well, I shoot him. It doesn't go through. Uh, and again, the cap points are just building up. We take one more shot. 
and I think that's pretty much all the damage we're going to get. He, unfortunately, he, he is behind the container. So we've now got two caps, and we have got a thousand uh, supremacy points. So four kills, uh, we do miss out on a thousand damage, but we we do finish the game with 5.3k damage, uh, a mastery badge again, 56,000 credits and 1700 XP. So we finished that game on 810 supremacy points, so which is an awful lot of supremacy points and a well-deserved ace. So I hope you enjoyed this long, long video. Like I said, I could have made it 30, 40 minutes long, but I broke it down to 20 minutes. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.